horseradish by buying it from the supermarket or whether we're just gonna grab a bunch of wasabi or whether we're gonna go and dig up wild horseradish. Horseradish is the one we wanna remember to really help the sinuses. Some of you may have heard about reflexology, mm -hmm. which has to do with reflex points on the feet for the rest of the body. Who knows where the sinus points are on the feet? Mm -hmm. The very, very tips of the toes. All right, somebody said they had like a sinus infection for a couple months. Yeah, I don't know. So if you have a sinus infection like that, or a really severe sinus infection, which is really hurting, mm -hmm. then one of the things you can do is take clothespins, regular clothespins, and clothespin the ends of those toes. It looks kind of funny. It hurts a little bit. But you know, if your head is throbbing from a sinus infection, a little bit of pain down there at your toes, it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and it helps to open the sinuses. Another even, um, shall we say, more dramatic thing that can be done is to take a pan of ice water and a pan of water Mom. as hot as you can bear to put your mm -hmm. feet in it and put your feet in the ice water until you can't feel them, mm -hmm. then put them in the hot water mm -hmm. and switch back and forth. And that's called a pump, a thermal pump. Mm -hmm. And that also seems to pump more blood up through the sinuses and open up the sinuses. Mm -hmm. okay. Again, we started with like the, the mildest, simplest herbal thing and then we did something a little more heroic and then the, the thermal pump is pretty strong there. But some of us are in those situations. I frequently am alone as well and I remember one winter Mom. when I had to crawl Mom. out through three feet of snow to milk the goats because I couldn't stand on my feet. Mom. And the goats have to be milked. Mm -hmm. Right, it's not like, oh, I'm just going to lay here in bed. No, the goats have to be home. So we do what we have to do, and we try to keep ourselves as well as we can possibly keep ourselves. Drinking those nourishing herbal infusions really sets the background for you, doesn't it? It's one of the best ways to really maintain ourselves in vigorous health.